Okay, I'm going to be showing you today how to make the uh, one inch bottle caps using a program called GIMP. Um, this is a free program that you can download um, on the internet. I've been told that it looks a lot like Photoshop. I've never used Photoshop, so I'm really not familiar with it. Um, but all you do is go to your internet and go to GIMP.org. And the newest one will be right here. Just hit download and, and just go through the step by step thing to download. Once you have it on your computer, this is what it looks like when you open it up. You'll have your toolbox over here to set all the stuff that you'll need. You have like your main screen right here. And then sometimes this will pop up uh, as your layers and gradients window. Um, you will need the layers and possibly the undo button right here. So if it's not open, just go to Windows, Dockable Dialog, and then click whichever one that you, you need. And this is your tool options, which you don't need open, but you can open it later. Okay, so we'll just minimize this. We'll start by going to Google and getting your images. So let's go to Google Images, and right now I'm going to do a search for Google Images. So once it pops up, you can pick whichever one that you want. Right click, copy image. Now yours may just say copy. Uh, whatever, depending on your browser, and that's fine. I right, open GIMP back up, and you're going to hit Shift Control V, and this will paste it over here in GIMP. Now, to make your bottle caps, I use a template. that I've made. I do sell this template so it does make it easier. I'll post the link below. Okay, so this is your one inch circles. Now in order for me to see this better, I'll go down here and change it to 50%. That way I can see it larger on one screen. Okay, you're going to go back right here. So you can see how it's in two different windows. When you have this open, now if you're switching between, let's say I have a this zebra print and a cheetah print, you're going to want to make sure you have the correct image that you wanted copied to your clipboard. So this one's already copied on our clipboard, but I'm going to show you the steps to switch between images or whatever if you need to later on. You'll hit Shift Control A, that selects the whole image. And shift control C, and you'll see right here it says copy pixels to the clipboard. You can minimize this and go to your template. So hit shift control Z to paste. Now, if that gets confusing, you can come up here and go to edit and paste. So once it's over here, you'll look right here and it says floating selection. You want to make this a pasted layer. So hit shift, control, N. And now it is a pasted layer. Now this you can move around, but it's obviously too big for your circle. So come over here and this little button is your scale tool. You'll click it, click your image, and you'll see this scale box come up. Now you can make it a little bit closer by tapping in what you want right here, but I just find it easier and quicker to just scale it down and press scale and then you can move it. Now when you do it, you, you want to make sure it's, it's completely covering your circle 
but it doesn't go over into the next box because if it does it will show it will overlap whatever image is in this box so you want to make sure you have it right here we'll go to our first box our circle just like this now if you come over here in your layers window this is a green down arrow so right now you have your template right here and this is your new zebra pasted layer you get the down arrow, they switch, and this goes behind it. So now you have your perfect zebra circle. Now you can repeat all those steps, you know, pasting it again, resizing it, putting it over here, all that kind of stuff. Or you can just hit right here, it's the duplicate button. You hit it four times, you'll see it's got four new layers come up. So all up under here, you just click and drag. Like I said, see how it's behind here? Right there? You want to make sure that you pull it all the way over. And just keep doing this. Pull it all over. And then you can hit it five more times. And you'll just do this to the remaining. Alright, there you go. And this, you, know, you can leave it just like this and go ahead and save it, and those be your bottle cap images. Or you can add, like, if you want to make these um, alphabet bottle caps, you can go over here to your A text tool. If you double click it, it pops up this. And you can go over here and you can pick your font. Uh, pick the size right here. Um, I'm just going to go up to like 80 and see what it does. Pick whatever color you want. I'm going to do a bright pink. Hit OK. And then click wherever you want it. And just tap. Yep. So I want it to go. And then once that box is still selected, you can make it bigger. And then just take your move tool. Move it up. If you decide you want it still bigger, just click back inside the box. And there you go. And once you have that, you just click on this and it automatically goes to size. It's hard to get where you want in this box up here, so I just click somewhere on the box or in the circle and then just move it right there. There you go, that's your alphabet, you just finish it all the way down, um, and then just save it, and then just go and just delete all these, and then just do the rest of your, your letters and make it like two pages. Now uh, if you have any questions, I'll post the link down below um, to get in touch with me, and I will try to help you. Um, also, I have this template for sale, and I'll post the link for it below as well. Thank you for watching.